for Three minutes. well I just want to inform Mr Gloucester where this is going. In CHO five of which I'm from Wexford, yes. we have thirteen hundred service users whose core funding or capitation is only between two and six thousand euros per annum. Now the equivalent two thousand three hundred and ninety one service users who are school leavers and entering the same facilities, doing the very same things for the very same length of time, are getting €18,000 per capita. So there's a deficit there, as you can hear, of 12, somewhere between 14, 12,000, 14 to 12,000 per capita. Over five years, I'm told that it's re the requirement will be to bring them up to the 18,000 in order for Section 39s to remain viable. And that works out at just over 9 million euros. Now you can see what the frustration is with the loss of 30 million, Mr Mulvaney. This is a whole CHO5 that needs 9 million euros. So the 30 million that we've been discussing today would do that three times. And there's 4,000 people involved in dire need of these day services. Now, I have two of the Section 39s who've had to discard their respite service. They've had to halt it. They have no staff. It's simply because there's a list of things that I will discuss with you as you'll set up a meeting in relation to it. But the reality is there's no plan. And this is a shit show. There's no other way to describe it. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. I attended a meeting on Monday night. There were 60 people all over the age of 60, caring for very intellectually disabled adults who not only don't have respite, but are heading for residential care. And we got six beds in total that are now gone in the month of May in CHO5, at a cost of 37,000 per person per month. So if you look at these 4,000 users may well end up at some point in residential care. I want to see a plan. And that's the difference in 30 million going astray and 10 million making a big difference, Mr Mulvaney. That's what I do as a public representative. Value for money and ensure that the services we provide are fully staffed so as they can provide the service to the most vulnerable in our society. So I, th I think there's three issues you've raised me, Deputy. There's the issue of Section 39, promised money that they haven't got, and Niamh is going to talk to you on the margins of the meeting, and I'll, I will certainly uh, personally look at that. There's the issue of the adequacy of disability services, be it respite services, be it residential or be it home support services, uh, and I'll certainly look at that for CHO5 uh, and come back to you with that. And there's the overall sustainability of the Section 39 sector, which is, I think, well rehearsed across the country. And I'll, no longer I'll, sustainable. I'll, 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 I'll certainly uh, give, give you a view on that. I don't think the sustainability of Section 39 sector I can fix. And, and to be easily. fair, I agree with you. It's a policy matter. It's a legislative matter of which I'm working on too, sure. but I'd expect that you will advise government that it's not sustainable and okay. that when a policy or a piece of legislation, be it by my group or whoever puts it forward, it needs to be accepted and yeah. it needs to be part of a plan. But I'll, I'll, certainly, I'll certainly personally look into the issue of the 39 agencies specific that you've raised uh, and I will arrange for an engagement directly with you about Wexford in totality. Thank you. Okay.